Hey friends, in this video we will see how we can use GPT in Python. So you can see the GPT full form is Generative Pretend Transformer. It is an architecture which runs the models and take as a initial input and generate the predictive text based on the initial input. Uh, so what is mean by GPT-3? So basically GPT-3 is uh, developed by the open AI uh, company name and they have some their own uh, models basically they are highly trained uh, high, highly trained data set models so all their value is lies in that models but the GPTs uh, some architectures are there GP, like GPT-3 that are open source we can use that architecture and also there are some uh, pre-trained models uh, openly available so what are the uh, that models uh, which is equivalent or better than the gpt3 so first uh, model is this gptj 6b so here uh, 6b means this model is trained on 6 billion uh, uh, like the 6 billion parameters uh, you can see the rest of the uh, uh, rest of the configuration of this uh, model so basically it is uh, as per the uh, as per test testers of this model uh, they said that this model is better than GPT-3 so we have this model we can download and use the transformer uh, transformers to load the model uh, load the model and generate the predictive text uh, we will not use this model in this video because it required high uh, configuration device uh, we have um, less uh, power or gpu here so the alternative is uh, gpt neo 2.7b basically uh, this model is trained on 2.7 billion data sets also this this model also required too much power so the alternative is there uh, 1.3 billion uh, data set uh, uh, sorry uh, parameter trend model that is nothing but the GPT Neo 1.3 billion okay so this model we will going to use this model this is also sufficient for the basic uh, predictive text generation uh, who created this model so basically uh, Eluther AI company I means uh, it is not a company it is a community actually they make this uh, uh, GPT Neo model mm -hmm. and also working on the futures model like this GPT Neo X 20 billion so this is a uh, equivalent to like uh, train on uh, 20 billion parameters you can also see the comparison of this model with the uh, same models present so here is the 6p model comparison gptj 6b model comparison with the gpt3 also so basically gpt3 is trained on 6.7 billion parameters and if you see the uh, you can see it is uh, quite better than the GPT-3 and also it is a uh, publicly available so there are some other models too like GPT-2 uh, it is also a public model GPT-NEO 1.3 so basically we are going to use this model and also one uh, famous model is this Megatron basically it is trained on the 11 uh, billion uh, parameters and the latest that is coming in market is nothing but the gpt neo x 20 billion it is highly uh, means trained on 20 billion parameters okay so let's see how we can use uh, gpt 1.3 in python so let's see my uh, pc con configuration So 
so my PC having this GPU NVIDIA G4X GTX 1050 Ti and 24GB of RAM uh, CPU is uh, Intel i7 8th generation so basically we are not going to use uh, GPU here uh, because the model uh, we are using is the float 16 that can only run on the CPU so let's start the uh, uh, coding first you have to install uh, anaconda uh, basically you can go to anaconda or search on google you will find the find find the installation link uh, click on the windows installation here download the anaconda installer and just straight away install it you will get the console for anaconda here in this you have to create a virtual environment uh, by giving the command conda create dash n gpt so i already have created uh, uh, the environment we will just simply activate this environment and navigate to our gpt data set like uh, notebook directory here i have uh, tried to run the gptj model but this pc configuration is not sufficient uh, if you want to run the gptj model which is 6b so it requires uh, i guess 12 12 gigs of uh, vram means uh, you need a gpu which having the memory of 12 gigs and that much gpu is not available at my local machine so i go with the lower trend model so it requires uh, at least you have 6 or 4 gigs of uh, gpu so just uh, first before opening the notebook you have to uh, give some command which is this one is for uh, creating environment which i uh, already have uh, installed and set up this environment so later you have to install the cuda uh, cuda toolkit is for 11.2 and uh, cudnn is 8.1.0 so we are uh, installing this from conda first channel the next thing we 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 have to install the tensorflow 2.5 tensorflow here is required because there are two type of models available one is a torch model and other is the tensorflow models if you want to run a tensorflow model then you can uh, you have to install this tensorflow 2.5.0 uh, next thing is you need a pytorch which supports the cuda so basically there are two type of PyTorch version available one is uh, only CPU and the other is support GPU also so for GPU version you need to tell Conda implicitly that you want a version of PyTorch which is uh, compiled on CUDA 11.3 so here we have installed CUDA 11.2 uh, which requires for TensorFlow later, later, later it will upgrade to 11.3 in this command so there will no any no, not any problem with compa compatibility so you can go with this next thing we have to install jupyter notebook so after installing jupyter notebook uh, i see that the numpy version is get changed so the numpy version we required is this 1.2.1 so we have to uninstall the numpy already installed numpy if there are two version it will show you that uh, there is also one numpy available so you have to give this command twice to uninstall both the numpy or if it is once it will show that uh, there is no such a library and then you install the numpy with a specific version 1.21 after setting this you will have gpt environment okay so we just start the jupyter notebook
so just uh, start executing this here also you have to mention that command which I already I have given you can uh, run this command here or you can run this command in, in console directly so I have already installed this numpy version so I will not run this command I will start from here uh, now this will include the model which is uh, GPT new if you want other model you can simply go to website uh, here hugging faces uh, are the website which contain all the open source models so here you have the model name and the uh, tokenizer from pre-trained model it will download this model from the network okay once this model is downloaded it will be saved in a cache of the uh, this uh, anaconda cache so you don't necessarily it will download always it will only download first time but this model is around 24 GB for the th float 32 and 12 GB for the six float 16 it will take too much time also and you need that much CPU capability CPU and GPU capability to run this model so I go with this 1.3 uh, billion model uh, G uh, that is by uh, the GPT Neo it is capable to run on my machine so I just uh, already have downloaded it will take around you uh, f 5 to 5 point gigs of uh, network bandwidth to download this model I have already downloaded I just uh, initialize it. it it will also take the time to load the that much size of model in the memory so let's uh, see our RAM uses it goes around here currently it is available so it picks up to the uh, like uh, 11 or 12 GB and it is now running on around this 6 or something GB cache memory because this model is loaded here successfully and uh, currently it is in memory now we are not using the model that why it is just constant okay so our step is completed uh, let's create the prompt prompt is nothing but the initial text uh, where GPT start generate uh, next text automatically so create a prompt uh, tokenize that prompt so basically tokenizer will separate out the character and the uh, symbols in that string and we get the tokenized string now we will pass the tokenized string to the model gen uh, generator sorry the generator of this model it will have some parameters okay so temperature is nothing but the accuracy of the model and the maximum length means how much output text should generate the string if you increase this that much time will be taken if you decrease this less time will be taken so I just keep 500 here so 500 text uh, 500 character output will be generator here so run this step it will take some time to generate that much text okay so we will uh, go with the next step file this step this step will be automatically executed after after the this cell so we will wait for the output and monitor the RAM here we got the output from GPT you can read that this much output is generated by GPT if you increase this number it will generate more output the next thing is uh, we can integrate pipeline uh, to this model uh, pipeline what what it uh, do when you supply the string dynamically means uh, it will uh, get the string 
uh, predict the output and ready to take the next string so basically you can develop a chatbot out of it